you need to find whether the tree is symmetric or not sure uh so this one should end up being pretty uh uh if i can do it recursively it should end up just being that i can look at the uh i should be able to use a separate helper function that passes both in a left and a right and i would want to say that the left and the right are equal to each other as well as the other ends as well as the uh inner of the left is equal to the left of the right um and then the uh you know the the left of the left is equal to the right of the right and then i recurse right um, until I get to the base case of either both of them being none or only one of them being none. If they're both none, then I return true. If only one of them is none, I would return false. So, yeah. Uh, is it okay if I code that out? Because I think it makes a lot more sense in code. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, yeah, sure. Step, uh, symmetric root. And I'm going to just do a helper function inside, which has a left and a right. And all I want to say is if left and right is left is none and right is none, in that case I return true. Um, left is none and right is not none. Oops. <clears throat> Or left is not none and right is none. In that case, I return false. And what I want to say is that uh, left dot val is equal to right dot val. Uh, and left dot, uh, I should have um, helper on left dot left, comma right dot right uh, and helper on left dot right comma right dot left and I should just return helper on right dot left right I think that ends up being the entire set of code uh, I'm pretty sure that I, I've done this problem before um, but a, a, like a while ago uh, just because it seems sure, right. like I got it. Now this, is, now, this is your recursive solution, right? So, can you try to do it iterative? Same problem? Uh, possible? Yeah, sure, sure. So, uh, let's think about what I ended up doing here. When I made it recursive, the, uh, <clears throat> the implicit stack that I end up having is that I add... Um, I end up adding left and right to the stack uh, at my first step when I call helper, because those are the items I'm examining. So what I should end up doing is popping off the stack twice and looking at both of those elements and seeing if they're equal to each other. And then the things that I want to pop onto the stack uh, should end up being, so I, I'm, I'm going to keep the recursive implementation and I'm going to just copy a separate iter approach. So my stack is set to empty, and then, uh, you know, assuming that there is a root dot left and root dot right, um, I should be able to say stack dot append root dot left uh, stack dot append root dot right. And while my stack isn't empty, um, I would want to keep just popping off the two elements that are there, and uh, doing the exact same comparisons as what I had in the recursive approach. So while stack, uh, what I'm gonna do is left is, uh, or right equal to stack.pop, left is equal to stack.pop. Uh, I should have the exact same logic as before for determining um, whether I have a mistake somewhere here which is if they're both none, uh, then I should be able, oh, I wouldn't return true though. That's the thing, uh, that, that's something that changes. Instead, if they're both none, then I would just uh, continue, right? Um, 
because I, I may, I'm not necessarily done processing the stack at this point. <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. if, if one of them, if one of them is none and the other isn't though, then that means that I have some lack of symmetry somewhere, right? So at this point, uh, I would return false. Um, if it turns out that the values aren't the same, I would also return false. Uh, and then the only other things I have to do is append onto my stack, similar to how I did it in the recursive calls, right? So I should have stack.append left.left and stack.append right.right. Similarly, stack.append uh, left.right and stack.append uh, right.left. So uh, these should get processed eventually, I want to say. It's not going to be in the same order necessarily as what I had above. Um, so I, I may end up going, uh, or I guess uh, in the recursive one, I do that as well, right? Is that I would process um, really deep on one side of the tree, and then only afterwards I would continue in the other section, right? Uh, for example, this uh, initial stack, left dot right, and then right dot left, those get processed uh, much later. Um, yeah. Just because I'm going to have a whole okay. bunch of other items that are processed. Um, is it okay if I try to run this with some test cases for the symmetric iter? Yes, yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so it, it, to me, it does seem like the right unwinding, but we can, uh, yeah, go through. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be a pretty big tree. If you want, you can first try to run your recursive. Let's see if uh, probably that will work. But sure. yeah, iterative may have some problems. So yeah, anyways, yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, any order is fine. Yeah, and so try. Let me just uh, create my tree node. Left, soft, right, right. I think that's all I need to do. Uh, Ripper self. Uh, return self eval. Um, yeah. Okay, that's actually not a very good ripper. Uh, I don't remember if I can. Yeah, this is not going to work out for actually printing it. It's it's fine. Uh, let's make my tree. So I have. Um, <clears throat> Root is equal to tree node of one with tree node of two with uh, tree node of four by tree node of five. Oh no, it's three and four. No. One, three, uh, one, one, two, two three, four. four. Okay. And then on the right node, I think I have the exact same thing, right? Except it's reversed. Yeah. So four, three. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, print it's symmetric. Symmetric root. Line 57. Cool. So this one seems to be okay. Uh, okay. For the uh, you know invalid tree or the valid tree. Mm -hmm. Let's do let's do the invalid one, which is one tree node of just two, one, uh, not two, and then three. Right. And then on the right side, I have. Tree node of two followed by none and tree node three. Cool. And print symmetric of invalid root. Two three two none and three. Okay. Uh, yeah, this seems to check out and this gives me false as I'd want. So if I were to replace symmetric with symmetric iter, 
I similarly get uh, true and false like I would want. Um, so from these test cases, it seems to work out, but there's definitely some that I think mm -hmm. I may have not considered. So uh, right off the bat, I don't think I really talked about um, an empty tree. So is an empty tree considered uh, symmetric? I guess uh, by default, right? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yes, yeah, consider that. I'm going to return true. Similarly, for the iterative version, I would have uh, that same check. And mm -hmm. given that I have this check, uh, even if I have just a root, like if I have a tree node of a single value, um, this should still work out, right? Um, yeah, it gives me true uh, because the only items that I'm going to append onto the stack are the left and right, which are both none. Uh, so right off the bat, my stack will become empty after the very first run because both left and right are none. Um, yeah, so yeah. I guess given that, this will be my solution. Yeah, yeah, excellent, man. Yeah, yeah, very good. 